Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Jacob here back with another video on the Jacoby the Great channel. As you guys know, I usually do gaming videos, but today is a little bit different because as you know, I usually upload every Monday and Friday. Today is Saturday when I'm uploading, but that's because this took a little bit longer to film and record and everything because obviously it's not in front of the computer, it's on the GoPro and everything. But uh, as you can see by the title of this video, this does have to do with Mr. Beast. It's not just a clickbait or anything. That being said, guys, yeah, I I won one of the prizes in the Mr. Beast thing. Like, see, I bought the Mr. Beast bars. And then, like, if you guys know how these are, you pretty much buy them. And then you get these codes. You can enter them in. And then if you do win something, then it'll pretty much just get mailed to you. There's, like, so many different prizes you can win. There's a lot of big ones, a lot of small ones. There's just a lot of stuff overall. So, yeah, um, the, out, out of all of these, like, if I have to say, like, my favorite one, I have to say the quinoa crunch was actually very good. Like it was pretty much just like a crunch bar, but it was very good in the end. But now on to the main part why you guys are here. The thing that I did win from the Mr. Beast video is this. I'm going to go get the boss box right now and I'll be right back, guys. So just a little FYI, I did open. Let's make sure there's nothing. OK, yeah, there's no address or anything on this. I did open this up beforehand because like this box just arrived at my door like the other day and I didn't know what it was for. But yeah, so yeah, it was just sitting there pretty much. I didn't know what it was. So I did open it up to see what it was and I did open it up and find out it was from the Mr. Beast thing. Didn't say it was, but then I got like, an, I checked my email, which I guess I, I didn't see originally, but it was in my email that I won something from Mr. Beast. So now I'm going to open it up in front of you guys and see what you guys think. So first i mean this will be pretty much like you'll be able to tell like what i got in the box from like all the stuff i'm gonna pull out but so the very first thing i got right here this was the, the very first thing that was on top of it all this is like a turtle beach let's see yeah this is like a turtle beach carrying box so like, i believe it's for like headphones or controllers and everything so if you open it up you can easily see yeah it has the little thing where you can put your headphones and everything right here you can put like controllers and stuff in here and yeah it's just a nice little carrying case it's like a hard shell carrying case it's pretty nice um i don't know the exact value oh uh, yeah i'm gonna look up the value because i think i spent like 30 to 50 dollars on the mr beast bars so if i look up turtle beach carrying case let's see how much that actually is so a turtle beach carrying case as you can see i mean this one looked very similar this one is on amazon as you can see Okay, let's get this in frame. Yeah, so this one is the one I've got right here. If you can see it, it's pretty nice. And uh, yeah, this right here is $24.95, which is 25 bucks, which is almost as much as I spent on. It's either the $5 less or it's 25 less. I think I spent 50 on the candy bars. But yeah, so that's already halfway to recouping what we spent on the candy bars. So that's pretty good. And we still got more to come. So I'm going to put this over on the side over here. So the next thing we got is we got this which oh okay that's not an address on it okay thank god oh yeah so we got a headset stand as you can see so let's pull this out of the box right here so it's pretty nice it's just like a metal headset stand i actually do need a headset stand because uh i have my because uh, i have astros i have a pair of astro a50s the wireless one and i currently just pretty much throw them on my desk and i have nowhere to put them this is actually really nice. Like it has like just a nice little solid base right here. And I think it has, yeah, it has these little ridges and stuff. So it won't like move. So if you see, yeah, like it doesn't really move a lot. So if I just find a nice place to put it on my desk, my headphones should be able to rest on this. It looks like stainless steel or something, but yeah, it's pretty nice. I'm going to check the value on that, see how much it is. And then we'll just keep adding up how much stuff is. So if we go turtle beach, um, was it headset stand? So the Turtle Beach head sense stand, that's another $30, so plus the $25. Yeah, if you can see, that is the headset stand we got right there. So that's $30, so that is $55 total just between the two right there. So currently we have gotten the exact value, but plus a little bit more of all the stuff that we've got. But we still have a couple more items as well. So I think we're coming out pretty good, guys. Like, yeah, I know it's not Tesla. I know it's not like all these other things. But like, overall, I'm still happy with what I got. Like, I'm not going to complain. Like, I'm, like, as you can tell, I'm actually like genuinely so happy that I actually won something. Because normally I just I just don't get anything whenever I do anything like this. So I'm actually happy to actually get this for once. So the next thing we got, we got this. Uh, it's a Turtle Beach Recon Controller. So this thing is pretty cool if you look at this. It has like a bunch of different things. So 
as you can see right here so like it has these different like audio things right here and like this is cool but this is the thing i'm, I'm most like curious about this says this like an audio sense thing and like i don't know if it lights up on the controller or something when someone like walks by or shoots from a certain direction but if it actually does that that's crazy for like call of duty and stuff like that like if you can know where someone's shooting just by looking at your controller and not having to look at the map or anything i feel like that's a lot more helpful because i feel like some people don't look at their map or they just don't want to I feel like having the controller will help definitely like especially for people like i'm not very good at call of duty so i feel like that will help me up like so much like compared to like the map because i really just don't check the map a lot so yeah okay yeah it doesn't even say like up top it says hear everything defeat everyone uh if we can get that yeah so yeah i'm assuming that does show the actual thing that is pretty cool then okay Oh, and they have aim focus mode and it has ergonomic. Okay, yeah, this, okay, because I before I had like an ED or ADP or PDP controller. So I'm definitely going to be using this for the GTA series now because it's a wired controller. So this will be a lot better to use and it's just a lot nicer and everything. So I actually will be using this in like all of the future GTA videos from now on. So I'm actually very thankful for that. And let's check the value on that. I find to guess that's probably going to be more expensive than like everything else. Uh, Turtle Beach uh what is it recon controller um see how much that is okay so that's 60 bucks actually so between everything we're at 115 115 dollars 100 yeah 115 dollars wow i'm actually wow okay so we actually so we've doubled the value of everything that we bought we bought for the mr beast bars so i'm actually very happy with that yeah so i'm gonna go put this over to the side and we got one more item which is actually if I had to guess, I'm going to say it's probably the most expensive item in the thing because that's how these usually always are. So the final item that we got here is we got a pair of the Turtle Beach Stealth 700 Gen 2s. And they are, says for the PS5, I'm assuming it's also going to work for the PS, like for the, the Xbox. Because at the, I don't have a PlayStation, I have an Xbox. I don't know if you guys knew that, but yes, I'm an Xbox person. But yeah, so this is actually a very nice headset. Because I remember when I originally was going to buy my Astros, I was uh, originally going to buy the, uh, I was going to buy the Stealth 700. But then the guy told me the Astros were better at like Best Buy. So I was just like, okay, I'm just going to listen to this guy. I'm going to get the Astros instead. So that's what I ended up doing. But so now I actually have this pair as well. I believe they are a wireless headset. Yeah, they are wireless as you can see right here does say they're a wireless headset so that is nice i don't i like wired headsets because they don't die because they're wired obviously but at the same time i like being able to walk away from the computer and do all that stuff like that so yeah these are really nice um let's see um uh, let's see what they got okay so they have 3d audio okay they're glasses friendly okay that's usually the most important thing because like for the astros they're super comfortable like wearing with a hat and the glasses like i've i've can wear them for like five hours six hours at a time and like they're completely fine so if these are anything like the astros i'll love them to death plus it'll help having another pair of headset because sometimes the astros will be really low and i don't want to use them for a video so i have to wait to upload so i can use these instead so that works just as good like so you might be seeing these in a couple videos i'll probably actually i'll probably do a couple videos in where i'll be testing these out or i might just do a video where i'm testing out all the stuff i did from or got from the turtle beach stuff so yeah okay so this actually has an app for it as well that's pretty cool and it has 20 hour battery life okay that's that actually, actually really important because 20 hours is pretty solid amount of time because that's like 20 hours straight so if you break that into like gaming sessions usually you play for like a couple hours a piece so that'll work for like a couple days worth so if i had to guess something like this is okay so i think i spent like 150 or 180 on the astros so these are gonna be slightly less than that. So I'm gonna say these are probably like $100. If I had to guess, I'm gonna say these are probably like $100 or something like that. I'm gonna go check that right now. Oh yeah, this also has the super human hearing, which I know is like, it like enhances everything. So this would also be good for like Call of Duty and stuff like that, or GTA when you get into combat. So I'm gonna check this out right now. We got the Turtle Beach, Turtle Beach Stealth 700 Gen 2. Oh, so they're Gen 2 even. So they're even more improved. Um, Stealth. 700 gen 2 and let's see oh she okay yeah they're actually pretty okay so this is according to gamestop but i looked at the other ones as well so they're actually set they're actually 120 dollars so yeah you look at that yeah so these are obviously the same ones right here let's get that yeah so those are those are 120 dollars okay 
Wow. So, okay. So between everything, everything else was 115 altogether. Plus that's another 120. So that's $235 like that of prizes that we won. We spent $50 on the Mr. Beast bars, which were actually very good. Not going to lie. Like th these were very good. They are dark chocolate. That is the only thing I will say. If you don't like dark chocolate, I mean, still get them for the prizes and then give them to other people. You can be like nice like that. That'd be kind of like giving Mr. Beast bars to, I don't know. If you go to school giving Mr. Beast bars to my classmates or teachers, that could be a video. I don't know. You guys do what you do. But yeah, these are very good. I, I usually don't like dark chocolate, but these were the only dark chocolate and are the only dark chocolate I have tried that I've liked. So yeah, big up Mr. Beast for that. And then plus having the prizes and everything like that is really nice. I believe this is just like the first wave of prizes as well. I, I, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure you can win more prizes overall. I'm not 100% sure, but I am pretty positive that you can. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm um, because I says I still have like 18 entries in. I'm pretty sure that's for like the mega prizes or something. And plus, there's always the golden ticket as well. I don't know if anyone's gotten a golden ticket yet. I might order another round of these. I don't know. I'll just see how like this does and see if you guys want me to order another round. I might do that for a video, just going through all the codes and stuff, or might give codes away at some point. Uh, but with that being said, guys, remember if you like this video at any point in time, remember to like, comment, and subscribe as it helps out the channel. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Be sure to check them out. And until next time, guys, uh, what is this? It's Saturday, so I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace out, guys. Have a good one.